please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you wanted to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. I wanted to do a really quick video on one of the best power supplies you could get right now. This is an EVGA 850G3. You basically want to have double the output on your power supply as what you're going to be pulling in from your PC. I'm doing a mini ITX build, so the motherboard itself doesn't draw a lot of power because it's a mini ITX. I might go with a 2080 Ti video card later on down the road. I just picked up a 1060 right now. I went on, did all the calculations. I figured how many fans I have, how many hard drives I have, what kind of RAM I'm using, what the video card is, the graphics card, and I went to the highest video card I'm gonna get. If I put a 2080 Ti, the most I'm gonna max out at is 425 watts. So if I take 425 watts and double it to 850, what that means is if my computer is screaming and it's just full tilt going 425 watts, it's gonna be only using half of its power. If you keep it in the 425 and down, you're in the stress-free zone. The fans aren't gonna kick on. You're not gonna really stress the unit. It's really gonna perform well for a really long time. The other thing too is it has 130 millimeter hydraulic dynamic bearing. That's the new kind of bearings. But when you get your power supplies, you can get a basic one or a white one. You can get a bronze, a silver, a gold, or a platinum. If you're drawing 250 watts, if you have a basic power supply, you're gonna be pulling about 312. If you have a bronze, you're gonna be pulling 304. If you have a silver, 294, gold, 277, platinum, 271. So the difference between gold and platinum is only a couple watts. It doesn't make sense to buy a platinum power supply when you could buy a gold because you're only getting a few percent more efficiency. For 99% of people that are gonna be using this, uh, the gold is gonna be fine. It's much more efficient to go with a gold than it is to go with a bronze, but you're only getting about two or three more percent efficiency going with a platinum over a gold. I could use the, like, the highest video card right now and it'll work perfectly with this. Here's what the inside of the box looks like and right off the bat, this is a really, really nice presentation. But when you see pouches and cases like this to put all the wires in, that's really cool. The reason you would wanna have pouches like this is to keep all the extra wires. This is obviously a modular power supply. And what that means is all the wires that come with the power supply are modular, which means they all plug in separately into the power supply. You don't have that big bulky bundle of wires that are you know, going into the power supply. So let me just show you everything that comes with it. Got a pouch here to put the extra wires. This is the main cable for the motherboard. A Molex conversion cable. Got another one for the CPU. Really nice finish and termination here. This is the braided sleeve that's covering the wires. They have really nice heat shrink tubing to terminate the ends of the sleeve to the wires. This is your SATA cable here. These are actually Velcro cable ties, which is really cool. Just wrap this around like this, and there you go. You wrap it around, and it sticks to itself because it's made out of Velcro. You could use these to put your cables you know, wherever you want in your case, and the neat thing is you could just take it right off, and the Velcro comes off, and you could replace it and move it around You know, if you don't like the way it's set up. And it's really nice to have something like this added with a power supply where you're gonna be doing cable management. Last but not least, here is the power supply itself, and it comes with its own pouch, which is really cool. Really nice looking power supply. It's got the fan here. Here's all the specs. This thing is really impressive. And whatever you need, this thing can handle. If you have a windowed PC or a tempered glass PC, which is what I have, the words are always gonna read right side up, whether you have the fan up or down. You have your eco mode for your fan and you have your power on off. And then you, of course, you have your plug. Really simple to install. You put it in, you have your four screws, one, two, three, and four. And once you get it in, all you gotta do is plug in the power cord and then flip it on. That's it. I am definitely gonna recommend this power supply as one of the best ones you can get out there. Unless you really need over a thousand watts, if you're doing a Titan build or something else, then I would go with an 850 power supply. That's probably the highest you're ever gonna need. If you don't need that, you could dial it back to 750 or 650, but 850 is the way to go because it's probably gonna be higher than anything you'll ever need. It's gonna make your PC efficient and it's gonna keep it nice and cool and it's gonna last a really long time. I really hope this video helped you out. If you wanted to pick up one of these for yourself, as always, I'm gonna leave links down in the description. And if you can, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or comments, let me know in the section down below. Thanks again for watching. Take care.